what's up beans? It is 2017 now, officially, and I am in the Animal Gym New Year's party, and there's a lot of stuff going on here, but this video isn't just going to be about the New Year's party, it's about everything that's happening in Animal Gym in 2017. My predictions, what we already know, the parties, the glitches, everything that's going on is all going to be covered in this video. So let me just run you through the party really quick, in case you haven't been here. First of all, we get this amazing New Year's celebration hat, which is actually non-members and is somewhat of a reasonable price, which is really good. Very rarely do we actually get holiday celebration items that are actually for non-members, so. Also, strangely enough, we have a ton of music, but none of it's actually like from the party or anything, it's just like a series of random things and only like two of them are actually seasonal so I'm not sure what the shop these aren't even from 2016 so I'm not even sure what the point of the shop is and what's really cool though is we have all these cool new items like I'm not kidding these are really cool Animal Jam really went all out for the New Year's stuff this year and we've got some crazy cool stuff like piles of confetti and confetti cannons and 2017 wreaths and just everything you can imagine and of course the good old 2017 banner overall this stuff could be really cool but New Year's is passed you guys don't care let's get out of here so my computer can stop lagging Honestly, New Year's has already passed, you guys don't care, you've already probably been to the New Year's party, you've seen all that, so let's talk about 2017 in Animal Gym. Normally, every year they send out a message that says like, hey, 2013 is going to be better than 2012, hey, 2016 is going to be better than 2015, but since there wasn't a Jamal Journal this Thursday for some reason, they haven't sent that out this year. But generally, every single year in Animal Gym, there's more and more stuff, and things get better and better and better as the game grows and grows and grows. So I'm looking forward to a ton of cool new stuff, and let's talk about what we already know is coming in 2017. First of all, we talked about plenty of new member benefits. And that doesn't mean there will be new animals that will be for members only. It means that there will be new features that only members can access. And by the way, check out my Spinny Boy Koala. By the way, totally for non-members, totally open to non-members to use this new New Year's Koala. I always try to keep my koalas open to members and non-members so that both can use them and nobody's excluded. But Animal Gym doesn't seem to have that same plan. The good news is Animal Jam will not be taking anything away from non-members as far as we know. They will only be adding new features that are for members only. So, non-members, I know it's sad, but I promise there will be more things for you anyways as a result. Because when new things get added for members, sometimes things that are for members previously get pushed into non-member slots because members stop using them and they stop being an important reason to get membership. So you probably will benefit from this as well. And overall, there's just going to be more features in the game. And who knows, non-members, maybe one day you'll decide to buy a membership and you'll get to enjoy all the features anyways. Or maybe there will be such cool features that you'll finally feel like it's worth it to buy membership. So so don't fret if you're a non-member. This will still be cool for you, I promise. Next up, let's talk about a few glitches that have already happened this year, leading into 2017. So first of all, people have been getting into the 2012 party. I don't, I don't know how. People have just been in the 2016, 2017, sorry, getting into the 2017 New Year's party, and then all the banners say 2012, and it's pictures from the 2012. New Year's party. I don't know why this happens. This actually happened with the spooky party earlier this year. People would go into the new spooky party and get transported to the old spooky party. So it seems as though there's some sort of weird thing where when Animal Jam replaces a party, they keep the old one in and every once in a while you can accidentally access the old one. I'm still not totally sure how to do it. Lots of people have lots of different methods and not all of them are surefire. So we'll see how it works out. Also, some people had gotten the 2017 banner before the 2017 New Year's party came out, which is really interesting. But again, I have no idea how that happened. So I can't really talk about that that much. And also, Three times in a row, Animal Jam has been doing these new holiday banners. They're like, yay, happy Jim holidays, happy Thanksgiving, happy New Year, but they screwed it up again. During Halloween, they sent one out that was for the Jamal days. And then during Thanksgiving, they like sent out the wrong one again. And then now they sent out the Happy New Year's thing on December 30th. Like, you're so close, Animal Jim. You're so close. I, I know you're trying your best, but it doesn't it doesn't always work. Like maybe it's time zones, but I don't think time zones would make uh, you know, Christmas on Halloween. But the big news that we already know is the daily spin is being replaced for members. We're getting this brand new diamond daily spin. And the big question is, what's going to happen with a daily diamond spin? I mean, there are just going to be more diamonds in the game. And that's going to be interesting to deal with. Because first of all, Animal Gym will probably be releasing more diamond animals, more diamond items, more things that will be members only and for diamonds. Because unfortunately, they're probably going to release less non-member things in the diamond shop. If you really think about it, more diamonds means members have excess diamonds, which they could use to buy non-member items and give them to non-members who can't get diamonds as easily, which Animal Gym does not want. They want you to buy membership, and they're moving away from you buying diamonds and instead choosing for you to buy membership. But the question is, if Animal Gym releases all these brand new diamond things, well, what are they looking for you to buy? Since obviously they're not thinking that you're going to buy diamonds with real life money anymore, and no one buys gems. I think they're moving towards you buying promo pets promo items, toys, cool merch outside of the game. I think that's their new aim, is you buy membership 
and that covers all your in-game things, but then you can buy things outside of the game and get them even more money. I think that's their new strategy. So I expect to see a lot more promo pets. We've already seen the Golden Pig and the Golden Bunny and the Alpha Sword and all this crazy cool new promo item stuff that's gotten super rare. So I really wouldn't be surprised to see a bunch of new promo stuff and a bunch of new promo pets and items and cool new things to unbox. We've already gotten the Animal Jam box and just everything. It seems like Animal Jam is becoming less of a website and more of like just an overall kids game force. And of course, Messages in a Bottle are finally going to wrap up during 2017. We're going to get the new animal, which is almost definitely a sheep at this point. We basically know that from all the hints that have been coming through. We're going to get a new land, most likely, because we've gotten teaser pictures of a new land coming up that, I, that I've shown you in a previous video where I talked about a bunch of different conspiracies. And it looks like some sort of phantom base, which also means we're probably going to get some really cool new adventures. We're probably finally going to have that clash between Jamal and phantoms, the phantom fortress, and Jamal and just... Beat them up, beat them up, get the Phantom Boys. So it really looks like this is going to be a huge year for Animal Jam lore, and I'm really excited to see where they're going to take all this. I honestly don't even know how they could make this better in 2018. I mean, they're adding tons of new features on top of all this cool out-of-game stuff and lore stuff, and that leads me into another thing. So it's like, the last member-only feature we got was Masterpieces. I mean, excluding animals and things, things that are features that were added to the game that you can do that are members-only. It was Masterpieces. And Masterpieces were really cool. They were a big success. Everyone really liked Masterpieces. And now our members could do them for a little bit. But if Animal Jam plans to release more things like the new Daily Spin and the Masterpieces, which are both really cool ideas in my opinion. I'm not sure how the Daily Spin will work out, but it's a cool idea. Well, I'm really excited to see what they have in store for members in the future. I also want to talk a little bit about the new land. You see, the new land, from what we've seen, comes off of a bridge in Kambara Outback. And that bridge doesn't exist yet, by the way. This is just seen by someone on Instagram. I'm not sure how. But the fact that it's up in this little corner up here in Kambar Outback really tells me that this is going to be a flying animals only land. Which is pretty much proved by the fact that you have to fly up to that bridge. So unless Animal Jam plans to make stairs, then I don't think that's possible. But the problem is, I don't think Animal Jam ever plans to release flying animals for non-members. I think flying animals are always going to be a huge luxury that only members are going to enjoy because Animal Jam wants you to buy membership. So basically this land is going to be members only. And that's going to be really tough, especially because this land is going to have a ton of lore significance if it is what we think it is. And we're pretty much sure it is because we've basically gotten pictures from Animal Jam of what the new land is going to look like. And it's going to be some sort of phantom wasteland or really cool kind of phantom world, which means there are probably going to be adventures and mini games and prizes and cool phantom items. And non-members aren't even going to get to take a part in that. So that's going to be really tough for non-members. And I think this has to be added to my biggest list of predictions for 2017, which is that non-members are really going to get to get the short end of things. I think non-members are finally really going to get distance as far as possible as they can from members. I think now that Animal Jam is determining that they're not going to make money off of diamonds and things anymore, they're really going to try and ramp up their in-game money producing by making membership a big deal like it is in games like Club Penguin and Webkins and things like that. I think non-members are really going to start to see a difference between the two states of playing the game. And it's not really going to feel so much as like a limited version of playing the game as it might feel like a trial or something you can only do for so long and then you run out of stuff to do. My other big prediction is that there's going to be tons of new lore and land and adventures and things and that is a really big deal. And then finally, my third prediction that can sum up this video is that there's going to be a ton of new promo pets, promo items, cool new toys and things like that. I think Animal Jam is really going to focus on that because from what I've seen, that's going really well. I mean, they're already expanding into like the Animal Jam box and Animal Jam play sets and all these different kinds of things. I feel like every single day I'm seeing ads for Animal Jam like on TV, not even like the targeted Google ads that show up because I play Animal Jam. I mean, like, on TV, there are, like, Animal Jam ads that I'm seeing. Like, this is becoming a real force, almost as big as, like, Shopkins and My Littlest Pet Shop and things like that. And it's worked really well with other kids' games. Um, there are plenty of examples, like Webkins and, and, and what's it called, Monster Pie or whatever, and, like, Skylanders, where you buy things out of game that you can transfer them into game, and then you get the cool toy in real life, but you also get in-game things that don't really cost the company anything besides making them in the first place. So this seems like a really smart thing for Animal Jam to do. And hey, it's going to be a lot of fun for us YouTubers and for you viewers, because we're going to get plenty of cool boxes and toys to open up and show you guys. So anyways, Beans, that's pretty much everything I have to say about 2017. This is going to be a great year, I absolutely guarantee it. Non-members, I'm sorry, hopefully Animal Jam doesn't take that route and they just add stuff for members and don't just make it seem like non-members are getting left behind. But I can't guarantee anything, and there's nothing I can do. So, anyways, Beans, thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to spend 2017 with you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.